Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the all new Pixel 6 Pro. This is in stormy black, but it also comes in cloudy white and sort of sunny. Now this comes in three different storage sizes, ranging from 128 gigabytes up to 512 gigabytes. There's also a middle option of 256. It starts at 899 and goes up to 1099. You can see this is the stormy black model that has 128 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look at it. So we'll pull off these little pull tabs here. And we also have a case that goes on it as well. I'll set that aside for now and let's open it up. So you can see this is the new Pixel 6 Pro in stormy black. We'll set this aside to take a look at what's in the box. And so we have some paperwork here. If I can get a hold of it, there we go. We have some paperwork and we've got a SIM card removal tool and it's a separate little piece here. We also have a safety warranty and regulatory guide, and then probably a quick start guide explaining what's here. We also have a cable USB-C to USB-C and an adapter to help us move from a different phone to this phone. So it's USB-A to USB-C. However, there's no charger in the box. So if you want to charge your phone and you don't have one, you'll have to pick one up. Now let's go ahead and set this aside. So we'll put the top on here set this aside for now and let's take a look at the phone itself. So we'll take the cover off the phone and this is a really nice phone. It's actually a little bit thinner than I would have expected. And for a quick size comparison, before we take a look around it, here's the pixel five. So it's much bigger than the pixel five. Of course, the six instead of the six pro is a little bit smaller, but a very different design. As far as its overall thickness, this gives you an idea of what it looks like. That camera bump sticks out just a little bit there. Now the front of it will turn on in just a moment, but you can see it's a much larger phone with the Pixel 6 Pro. Now this phone, let's go around the outside edge and take a closer look. And you'll see here we have a power sleep wake button on the right hand side, along with a volume button below that or volume rocker below that. On the bottom of the phone, you have USB-C in the middle and what looks to be a speaker and microphone that are symmetrical on either side with a little antenna line there as well. On the left hand side, we have a SIM card tray and this supports dual SIM, but dual SIM in the sense that you have a physical SIM and an eSIM as well. Let's go ahead and pop that out and take a look. So we'll pop the SIM card tray out here. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Took a lot of force to pull that out. And as you can see, it's the little SIM card tray, nothing there. I'm going to put a Google Fi SIM card into it. So we'll do that. So I can use that. Of course you could use that eSIM, like I said, and then on the other side or on the top, there's nothing other than a microphone here at the top. Now for a quick size comparison with another phone, if you're familiar with an S21 ultra, this shows you the overall size. So it's about the same height. It's about the same width and it's a little bit thinner, but that little bit thinner doesn't mean it gets a smaller battery. It has a very large battery in it, 5,003 milliamp hour, which is what they say is typical or a minimum of 4,905 milliamp hour. So that's what's on their spec website. And then it's up to 50% charge in about 30 minutes. So that's pretty nice as well. And then it has Google's all new Google tensor core inside with Titan M2 security coprocessor. So that's something that's all new. It's their own processor design, and it also has 12 gigabytes of Ram. So it should be really nice and fast. Of course, I'll have to use it to give you an impression of that later on. Now, of course, the main thing here is a camera bump that's symmetrical. That means it won't rock when it's on the desk anymore. And also you have a nice camera array and Google has always been known for their pixel cameras. And so what we have this time on the back is a 50 megapixel wide with an F 1.85 aperture, a 48 megapixel telephoto, which is sort of a periscope zoom style camera. And so that telephoto camera has an F 3.5 aperture. And then we also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide with an F 2.2 aperture. They can record up to 4k video at 60 frames per second. So that's all built in. Of course, we've got that flash here and the microphone as well. Now the front facing camera is an 11.1 megapixel with an F 2.2 aperture and a 94 degree ultra wide field of view that can record up to 4k 30. 
Now the display is really nice. It's a 6.7 inch display, 1440 by 3,120 pixels. It's an LTPO OLED at 512 pixels per inch. It has 120 Hertz refresh rate that can scale up to 120 and down to 10 Hertz to save battery. And then also it's covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the front. So that should help protect the display. It's got an always on display and HDR as well. Now we have Wi-Fi 6E with 802.11ax along with Bluetooth 5.2 with dual antennas for enhanced quality and connection. We also have an ultra wideband chip for accurate ranging and spatial orientation as well as 5G with sub 6 in millimeter wave in many different bands. So you should have great connectivity around the world if the device is available where you live. Now we do have an under the display fingerprint sensor and the display is edge to edge. It sort of has a waterfall display over the edge and then also goes right to the bottom. So we have a very narrow bezel and then at the top you have a speaker and again, it's right up to the top. So it looks great with a hole punch display design. And then again, it's very comfortable to hold because of that waterfall display over the edge. Now how this will wear over time is hard to say as far as the design being timeless. It's more like a Nexus six. If you remember that device, I used that and reviewed that many years ago. And I think it looks pretty good overall. I'm excited to see how fast this new chipset is. And I thought we'd also take a look at the pixel six pro case since we have it here as well. So let's go ahead and put the phone down and open up this case. So this is a case that was sent along with it. So we'll pull this out here and it looks like a simple TPU case. It says team pixel and it's got this green tint to it. So let's lock the phone here. We'll put the phone into the case and this gives you an idea of what it looks like. Now there'll be other versions available and it leaves a little cutout for that camera. And you can see in the back here, you have a little bit of protection for the camera. If I bring this up here, you'll see there's a little bit of a bump. And then around the outside edge, of course, we have protection for the bottom ports around the outside edge and the buttons are nice and clicky still. They're not hard to press. And we just have a cutout for a microphone. I do like the feel of the case. It feels very smooth. It has a different texture than general TPU cases. It feels a little more high quality. And then of course you have that Google G there as well. It has a little bit of that background color showing through it as well, which is something I actually like quite a bit, although I'm not sure I'm crazy about this case, but first impressions, I really like the phone. I'm very excited for what Google's doing here. They're taking design very seriously. And if you haven't watched the pixel presentation, some of the things this phone can do is very, very impressive. Now, as far as fingerprints, you can see it, it picks up fingerprints pretty easily. And that's pretty typical of a glass back that isn't matte since it's shiny. It's going to show that of course you won't see that if you're using the case with it as well. Now, if there's anything you want to know about the pixel six pro, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you haven't seen that mentioned elsewhere or something you'd like to know about it, I'd love to answer your questions in a follow-up video. And if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.